What is up, Madden 25 Gamers? Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are talking about the five sets for success. And today, we are focusing on the blitz beating formation, having a formation that you can pick up and beat pressure uh, in this year's game is very important. And we like to be able to beat the zone blitz and the man-to-man -man blitz. And uh, we're going to take a look at that right now. Uh, popular blitzing formation from last season is the 46 bear enders. So we're going to show the LB dogs. And what we like to use is the Shotgun Empty Eagle H Tight. Um, another good formation that you could use is a, any shotgun split formation or just any kind of different looking formation, I would say, like split, full house. Um, the playbook we use for Minnesota is the shotgun or single back bunch in combination with a single back, uh, I think, trips. All these different formations you can use. Some people like the doubles. There's several different ways to beat this, but the plays we the plays and the concept is the most specific. And we want to look for plays that have blue routes or flat routes. Uh, either of those will work. And here we have both in the ATL deep end. This is what we this is our favorite play in the game uh, for beating blitzing defenses. You see, if they blitz from the middle, we're going to have this route to Kenny Steals. If they blitz to the outside, we're going to be able to pick it up with these two flat routes, and they're also going to release quick to the flat. And then the only other only adjustment I want to make on this play is I want to take uh, Lance Moore here, the circle receiver. I want to put him on a smart routed out route. And if I'm in a situation where I cannot smart route an out route, I'll put him on a curl route. And this is going to give me a basic curl flat read uh, to the right side. And so the first, when identifying a blitz, you want to identify where the blitz is coming from and throw him behind it. So here the blitz is coming from the edge. So I'm going to throw him behind the blitz and hit him with a quick flat pass to J Jimmy Graham. And this is uh, essential when talking blitz. This flat pass will always release like that every single time. Regardless of if they're blitzing or not, it always just kind of sits back for a second and then releases. Let's take a look at a man-to-man -man version of this blitz to show you the same thing. See, he sits and then releases. And what sometimes happens is the guy guarding him will actually blitz. Now what I like to do is when I identify if there's a flat defender, so here I identify the blitz come from the outside, there's no flat defender, so I'll throw it to the flat. But let's take a look at some people who maybe get adjustments, uh, maybe get adjusted with their defense and then start to adjust to this package. So what they may do to start adjusting this is they may take this guy right here, Bennett, and put him in a flat zone. So he'll take away the deep route, or excuse me, the, the flat route. So then what we can work now, they go to the flat, okay, then I can check down to my, or I can actually just continue my progression onto my curl flat read and hit my out route. And so then what they're going to start doing is they're going to start putting some purple zones out there. But if they put a purple zone out there, you'll see here, then I can still hit that quick flat pass. And, and that's kind of the key to that curl flat read is they have to put two defenders out there to stop it. So then what you'll see people doing is they'll start putting a flat and a purple zone out there on the outside play. But now you'll see I can hit him over the quick middle with Kenny Steals. And so you see how this play really cycles through all the, all the different things that the defense can do. And so then you'll say, okay, well, maybe they'll switch to something like this. Maybe a cover two. Um, obviously, they're still going to send some pressure. But they're going to maybe put like a cover two uh, look here. So they have still that yellow over the middle. But now they have the cover two look. Well, the cool part about the, again, the curl flat is that the flats are still open. As you see here against the cover two, the flats are still open. So then you say, okay, well, they may get even more adjusty, maybe get any more balls. You put the corner in the flat, have a purple zone, still get the two yellows, and now they're playing a roll two coverage. Well, check out what happens now. Now we can start hitting them in the left side flats after our uh, player releases there, and actually I hit the wrong button, but after our player releases, and we won't go bother with all the adjustments, but once they cover up the right side, uh, then we can start hitting Darren Sproles out of the backfield, and we all know how good of a receiver he is. Now, one thing you can do if you don't want to have to wait for that blue route to release, you can just put him on a zig route, but do note he won't stay in to block and leaves you susceptible to some, some pressure. But uh, with this play, you're always going to have that plus one advantage, and so they're going to have to send at least seven guys to get the pressure in clean, and you also have these quick passes all over the field. This is just a little sample uh, of, of what our five set for success schemes are going to be looking like this year, but I really want to kind of focus on the principle that I want you guys to kind of see the idea of you have routes that can block, you also have 
quick flat passes, quick slants, things like that that can really hurt the defense and uh, really make a difference. Now, one thing also guys like to do, and this is more my speed than more of something I would like to do, but I like to flip this formation. I like to bring Colston in like this, and then I'm going to motion him out three steps, and basically we're getting that shotgun bunch concept to where we're going to get a natural mesh, kind of pick and rub there. And uh, it's really good for beating man-to-man -man blitzes. So let's show you uh, an example of something like this. It's, uh, your opponent might do uh, maybe switch it up with a man-to-man -man blitz. We're going to use that flip. And, and this is just kind of going rogue and, and kind of getting in-depth with your formation and finding all the little little things you can do with it. But you see, now we have that drag over the middle. And, of course, Errol Thomas kind of crapped on my point. But you see the idea is you have... All sorts of different things you can do, but I really love that quick flat pass to Jimmy Graham. So uh, find plays like that within your playbook that help you beat the Blitz and add those into your custom audibles. Thank you guys for your time today. And also, guys, I do apologize for not getting the podcast up until today. It just took a little bit longer than expected to upload, so that shouldn't happen again. But thank you for staying with me, and we'll see you guys later.